everybody and welcome back to Virtual Storytime with Castle Shannon Library. This is our regularly scheduled read and grow stories at 11.30 on Thursdays. Today we are doing the letter U for our alphabet series and we're doing things that go up. So a lot of books about hot air balloons today. So this one we're going to read is called Hot Air, the mostly true story of the first hot air balloon ride. It's by Marjorie Priceman. So I can only imagine what this is going to be about. September 19th, 1783. Thousands of people have come to watch an incredible experiment at the Palace of Versailles in France. Ah, Versailles, 700 rooms, 67 staircases, 15 fountains, 2,000 acres of manicured gardens, too many chandeliers, paintings, and gold bathtubs to count. But enough about that. You might notice if you can see the words here that I'm saying Versailles, but it looks like Versailles, like we say North Versailles. They are spelled the same way, but they are said differently in different parts of the world. What a crowd has assembled. Scientists, school children, opera singers and architects, noblemen, farmers, and one famous pastry chef. Even the American ambassador, Benjamin Franklin is here. And of course, King Louis the 16th and Queen Marie Antoinette. But enough about them. The demonstration is about to begin. After months of work and many sleepless nights, the amateur inventors Joseph and Etienne Mont Montgolfier are ready to test an exciting new kind of transportation, the hot air balloon. So never mind the important people and splendid surroundings. Pay no attention to that little dog or that lady with the towering hairdo. Look instead at the basket attached by slender ropes to the balloon now rising high above the crowd. Inside the basket are ballooning's first brave passengers. A duck, a sheep, and a rooster. This is their story. It also sounds like the beginning of a very silly joke. Quack, ba, moo. Happiness and joy, an historic event, are brave aviators who have touched down in the woods of Val Valcrescent are found in fine fluff and feathers and carried back to Versailles. There they are greeted with flower song and better food than usual. But enough about that. You may be wondering, did this really happen? Well, yes, sort of. The Montgolfiers were real people who are considered the inventors of the hot air balloon and the fathers of aviation. The September 19, 1783 balloon flight with barnyard animal passengers is a matter of historical record, but the details of the flight may or may not be true. 
The author heard this part of the story from a duck who heard it from a sheep who heard it from a rooster a long, long time ago. And in the back here, it tells us a little more about the actual events that took place. Now, as you can see, there's words back here and this is taped over top of it. So I'm gonna do the best that I can to read you all of what this says. Cause it says a brief history of Montgolfier's balloons. November, 1782, Av Avignon, France, Joseph Montgolfier ran his family's paper company, but at heart he was a dreamer and inventor. One evening he watched smoke from the fire carry bits of ash up the chimney and he wondered, can smoke lift other objects? Using materials at hand, he made a box by stretching fabric on a thin wooden frame, leaving an opening at the bottom. He then lit some twists of paper and held them in the opening, filling the box with hot smoky air. Much to his alight, delight, the contraption lifted off the table and floated up to the ceiling. December 14th, 1782, Anna Together, the Montgolfier brothers repeated the experiment outdoors with a model three times the size of the original. It floated away, landing in a distant field. On June 4, 1783, in Anna a public exhibition of the new larger and rounder device to combat the cool, wet weather, a brazier was attached to the balloon. On landing, the brazier tipped and set the balloon on fire. The flight was a great success nonetheless, and news reached Paris. The Academy of Science invited the Montgolfiers to dis demonstrate their invention for the king at Versailles. Now this is where I, I might not be able to read all of what it says. So September 12, 1783 in Paris, before its test run, the Versailles balloon was soaked and shredded by wind and rain. The disaster. Even so, the king insisted the demonstration would be held the following week. On September 19, 1783, in Versailles, in four sleepless days and nights, the Montgolfiers and a team of craftsmen produced another balloon. It was 57 feet high and 41 feet in diameter and weighed 1,596 pounds, plus another 900 pounds for the basket, a duck, a sheep, and a rooster. Their flight lasted eight minutes, reached a height of 1,500 feet, and traveled a little more than two miles. The animals were found unharmed by balloon enthusiast Pilatre de Rosier, who along with the Marquis de Alandis on November 23rd, 17 something, I can't read, I think it's 1783, would fly on the first manned balloon flight. So that's what, this is what the back looks like. And that is the end of our story. So maybe you learned something about hot air balloons that you didn't know before. We hope you enjoyed this story time. If you'd like to hear one more today, come back at four o'clock. Uh, we hope you're enjoying summer and can't wait to see you back at the library soon. Have a great day.